So I'm out here at Pace Bend Park on Lake Travis. And I just wanted to show y'all some of the stuff that's just right here by my campsite. So all throughout this park, there's tons of this prickly pear cactus, huge patches of it everywhere. And this is the second one of these I found. This is the Pencil Chola Cactus. It actually has a lot of different names I've looked up online, but I just know it as the Pencil Chola Cactus. And it's really cool because it grows fruits just like the prickly pear cactus does. But these fruits are way smaller and harder to eat because as you can see, cactus actually grow out of the fruits too. And that little red pinkish part and this one growing right here is the only one I see on this cactus right here. But there was a cactus down the road that had tons of those fruits on it. And um, I actually had my eyes on this little piece right here. If I don't get poked, I'm gonna try to grab it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I got it. See ya. So, looks like this just fell off the plant. Now, I'm not sure if this is like the other cactus, like the prickly pear, but the prickly pear, you can just take a pad that's just laying on the ground like that, right? Put it in a pot with some dirt and just let it sit there. You hardly have to water it at all because it's a cactus and it will grow roots into that dirt. Now I'm gonna try to do that with this. Okay, yeah, that little dead piece wasn't part of it. But I'm gonna try to just set this in a pot in some dirt at home and see if I can get it to grow roots. And it's really cool because it already has the fruit on it right there. It's kind of old and dried up. But yeah, also another thing that there's tons of out here at Pace Bend Park is the honey mesquite tree. And I'm gonna try to find the one over here. Yeah, it's just over here. This is a little one, they get really big, but this is a baby honey mesquite tree. They have thorns on them. And you can see they have these like feathered leaves. And these will grow these kind of sort of bean looking things. And you can actually pop them open and you can eat the fibers in it and it's kind of sugary. I haven't tried that yet, but I learned that from Bob Hansler. And I can't wait to try it. But all the mesquite trees out here, uh, they don't have them on them yet. They don't have the bean things on there yet. They're all still, you know, growing them. I think these are, uh, I think these little things right here, I think those are going to turn into what I'm talking about. But yeah, 